All righty, I have a construction update for you guys today, um, and things are really heating up at Canada's Wonderland. Not only that, it's getting really confusing to predict this coaster layout and what's happening at Wonderland. Um, as I've said on my podcast and other places as well, Wonderland is really upping their game in terms of a budget, um, and you're seeing that. Uh, Wonderland has projects all over the park, has removals going on, cleaning up of areas, enhancing of areas, and of course this major 2025 coaster that is being worked on already. Um, so as you see on the screen, Extreme Sky Flyer is started to get removed. Um, again, my videos are always a day delayed unless there is breaking news. So yesterday we posted the Extreme Sky Flyer removal. Um, this is footage from yesterday and then um, Tomorrow's video will have it completely removed. Just a little heads up. Um, but with that being said, um, lots of work going on over at the mountain. Um, so the they are almost done reinforcing this tunnel. Um, this is filmed in the morning. Again, if you fly in the morning, the sun reflects off things and it looks like just pure white. So it's hard to get that angle. You'll get a better shot at 5 p.m. Our 5 p.m. shot is so much clearer. Um, but over here, we noticed that they disconnected the gas line and the electrical lines from this building a bit ago. But they fi finally finished disconnecting, which led me to believe that they were going to demolish this building. There's a couple buildings in this area that look like they're up for de demolition. Uh, but there's the demolition vehicle. So I knew in the morning that they were probably going to demolish these buildings. I forecasted they were on break and that they're probably going to do it later on or the next day. Uh, but you'll see they start demolition um, in this video. So you'll see it. The drink stand that is right next to Thunder Run's old station is moving on over beside Clockworks by the looks of things. Um, also, they started pouring concrete into this little what looks like either a ramp, staircase, queue line, or pole out of the mountain, whatever it ends up being. <laughs> Um, they started pouring concrete into there. We have two holes in the tunnel right now. We need a third. Um, so we're on the lookout for a third. There is no third hole that I can report. There is obviously a blank space that I can't see. Um, so underneath Thunder Run Station would be a prime area to have another hole. Um, so we'll definitely have to keep an eye over there or for the birdies at all. If a hole opens up there, we've seen no vehicles or demolition work going on there. So there's no signs of a hole yet. Um, but here's that drink stand. As you can see, if you look really closely, there's holes in the wall. Definitely going to be demolished as well. Um, and that little um, arcade booth that is beside the construction area um, it also looks like it's been emptied out as well. Um, there they are installing the new fast lane. Um, well, the, the equipment isn't being installed yet. They're cutting um, to install the electrical for the new fast lane systems. So Leviathan is having its installed um, yesterday as well. Um, so that's really interesting. I'm really excited to see how this works. Very curious. Um, outside of that, um, we are heading on into the 5 p.m. shots, I believe. So um, here they are removing uh, more of the tower at around 5 p.m. Um, they're very quick, by the way. So when they start cutting, as you can see in this clip that they're doing, um, they're very close to removing. But to put it into perspective, this was a couple hours later. So this was about an hour later, and uh, bam, the whole tower is gone except for the two um, dropping towers um, right there. Those two towers are all that was remaining yesterday. And I confer can confirm, um, when you watch this video tomorrow, the whole thing's gone. <laughs> so um, that's exciting. Um, definitely really curious to see what that's going to be used for. Um, outside of that, front gate is looking about the same. They were adding some theming pieces um, already. So it looks like some like um, botanical gardens. Um, I don't know if that's the right word. Maybe just gardens. Uh, but here is the demolition. This is Thunder Run's old station um, getting demolished. So um, a little sad to see. Um, but that, to me, confirms that something important in the works for Elpin. Um, so I'm really excited to see what that ends up being. Um, the drink stand right there with the door open just beside it is going to be demolished as well. Um, these two little buildings, not quite sure. Um, for Patreons, you're going to get a really detailed map um, about what I think is going on and what I know is going on. As promised, I will continue to do those as things progress. Um, just to track what we know for sure and what is speculated. Um, and yeah, there's a lot going on in Elpin. Almost every single one of these buildings has some sort of something happening to it. So really curious to see what Wonderland's plans are for Elpin. 
If you've watched the podcast last year, we kind of been predicting that Elpen was going to be receiving an upgrade, and lo and behold, it has. Um, this is the finished product. As you can tell, it has like slight little inclines downward. Now, what doesn't make sense is it looks like it goes to meet the floor down there, but then there's an elevation that goes up because you have to remember that there's a, a level down there. So it slightly doesn't make sense. Um, but you'll see a better view of this in tomorrow's update, or if you're a Patreon, you'll see it today, um, the finished product. Uh, definitely really confused as to what this is going to be. It's looking like um, a building or staircase or possible ramp. Um, very similar in size to the first tunnel, to be honest, um, once they add the walls. So that makes it a little weird as well, because still don't know where they're going to fit trains or track pieces horizontally into the mountain unless once this is constructed it really does come out to be a ramp um, but this is really confusing I'm not gonna lie this whole project is really confusing and it's kind of stressful to watch because <laughs> um, I it's like it could go either way it could come out the Elpin side of the mountain or it can come out the extreme sky flyer side of the mountain or it's gonna come out both and use a little bit of land on one side who knows? This is really confusing, really stressful. Um, here's that 5 p.m. shot. Um, again, they're about halfway done the other side of the tunnel. Um, so that's really exciting. You can see them here working on it. They actually stayed late yesterday because I filmed this at like 5.30 and they were still working really hard. And there's another angle from the other side of the pond of the uh, old Thunder Run Station demolition. So, um, oh yes, and this is the shot. You can see the holes in the old drink stand where they removed the equipment. Um, so definitely lots of things up in the air for this season okay lots of things is the Elpin refresh connected to the new coaster who knows it could be a completely separate project um is the extreme sky flyer side of the land um connected to the 2024 project who knows maybe it's not maybe it is there's two tunnels both tunnels lead to both areas which makes it that much more confusing um, so very interested. Um, I will tell you Whitewater West um, pieces have started to arrive on site. So that was really exciting. I think I show that in the next shot. Um, so our new water slide has started to arrive on site. Yay. Um, it'd be nice if it was our new coaster arriving on site, but not yet. <laughs> A little early for that. Um, but everywhere else I've looked, no other signs of any other construction on the Extreme Skyflyer side. Just that they set up the cinder block blocking off International Showplace, but that has been there for about a week and a half. Um, and then there's the angle of the Guardian piece of track that's sitting on the ground. Um, and yeah, not too much else exciting going on. Uh, thanks for watching our construction updates. Um, and that's everything for today's update. All right, guys. Have a good one. Bye.